Voyager 1 was a space probe launched by NASA in 1977 and it did uh, some very interesting studies of Jupiter and Saturn. And then this week, it has finally reached the edge of the solar system and it is now the first man-made object to ever leave our own solar system. Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Smith of the Royal Astronomical Society. Voyager has been an extremely successful mission, but it was never really designed to do this. The main idea was to investigate Jupiter and Saturn and it's done all this other stuff essentially as a bonus. So what they've done is attached a vinyl record to the side of the Voyager probes with all kinds of interesting recordings uh, and information about Earth and there's a plaque on the side of it as well that basically shows where the probe was launched from and uh, which stars are around for example so that if anybody ever does find this probe floating through space they will be able to find firstly where it came from and a bit of information about the people who sent it. Now the chances of anybody actually ever finding this are minuscule even if there are other intelligent civilizations out there but it's very much an expression of intent. So Voyager was launched on a Titan rocket back in 1977, which gave it a little push to get it off of Earth, essentially, and out towards the, the giant planets. But its main source of propulsion was actually swinging past Jupiter and Saturn, and that gives it a kick from the, the gravity of those planets, which has flung it out at a very high velocity. And since then, it's had no power whatsoever. It's not driving itself, it's not, there's no rocket on it. It's just coasting along uh, gradually slowing down as the gravity of the sun pulls it back, but it will never be pulled all the way back into our solar system. It will keep going. The batteries on Voyager aren't going to last much longer. It's actually uh, powered by radioactivity, and gradually over time, the power it has to uh, run its instruments goes down, and we're having to turn a lot of them off. In fact, most of them have already been switched off, so we're not getting quite as much information as we would like. But those will probably run for another maybe 10 years, uh, at which point there will be no longer enough power to contact Earth anymore. But Voyager will keep on going. Although it will be switched off, it will be silent, we won't get any more information from it, it will continue to coast out into the interstellar space uh, and who knows, maybe one day someone will find it, maybe one day we will catch up with it and find it.